So Tesla is bringing the say because uh, people think that owners of Teslas are rich uppity people. But then, uh, I mean, I guess Google is bringing this hate because, uh, which is, oh my God. So they bring up this hate because of like the uh, uh, Google graveyard website or whatever, where all the kill projects. But it's funny that they focus on that. And every company in the history of companies will create a product, a product that may be successful and it, it works and they'll rebrand it or remake it or relaunch it like the ps1 ps2 ps3 those are all different products and when the new product is improved on then the old product is obsolete or when facebook goes from you know facebook to meta that's the rebranding that's like i guess to them in their mind it's an improvement on the product so when you look at the google graveyard a lot of them are just renamed right or the technology that maybe wasn't uh it was too early or maybe it didn't make an enough impact like google glass people keep using google glass as an example google glass is still around and they have a corporate branch of it you know what i mean so it's just is it's interesting man i don't i get why people have opinions on everything this is social media now this is the the new world that we live in and it makes me feel good when somebody agrees with something i say and i get defensive when somebody doesn't agree with something i say because these are my beliefs these are my values so it makes sense why people bring it up but it's just crazy to me how many people go straight negative right off the bat without considering all the things you know uh there's <laughs> I mean, I can go on forever, and I don't want to uh, get caught up in it in another rant. But uh, I was uh, tweet fighting <laughs> with somebody, <laughs> and then uh, they're like, "Yeah, they're disappointed in a stadia, blah blah blah, not enough games." So we were talking, we started up with the the cupcake thing, and then somebody brought up steaks, and then we got into a cupcake steak debate. And the guy is like, "Google Stadia doesn't give you. They promise you steak, but now they give you cupcakes." I'm like, "Okay, what steak, right?" So I'm asking, "What, you know, what do you mean by that? 4K? They're only the only ones besides GFN uh, that uh, gives you 4K. So two of them, right? Anyways, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep ranting, but um, at the end, I was like, "So more games, right? That's what you're saying. We want more games. Yes, yes, that's what I want. More games. Okay." And I asked a simple question, super fast Google research. Uh, how many games are on X Game Pass, Xbox Game Pass, and then how many game of those games are available for the cloud, right? So I'm like, uh, I tweeted back to him. There's 95 game difference. There's 95 games uh, missing from cloud gaming on Xbox that are available in Game Pass, right? So you're paying $15 for Game Pass, but not all 470 something games or 400, yeah something like that are available in the cloud so i'm like what do you think that is and he's like oh because maybe licensing or maybe their games aren't i'm like so how are you uh, able to rationalize the reason that is that a word rationalize the reasoning behind the 95 games missing on xbox cloud gaming but you can't rationalize why stadia is struggling to get games into the thing it's exactly the same issue licensing porting you know the technology the whatever there's the same exact reasons it's just that xbox has been around longer so they have more games in their you know uh, ports or whatever but he can't apply the exact same rationale it just boggles my mind be and it's just obvious and i i'm trying to see if i catch myself i'm trying to catch myself doing that with apple uh but my only gripe with apple is that they're intentionally trying to keep you keep you in their ecosystems and they're not the only ones you know xbox does it playstation does it nintendo does it that's why they switch the buttons around that's why they put switch the thumb uh, thumbsticks around so it makes it harder canon and nikon do it so when you zoom in on a canon and you zoom in on an icon they're opposite directions and when you focus it's opposite directions because they want to make uh, make it hard for people to switch over i get it i understand why it happens but apple takes it to a whole different level you know what i mean and i don't hate them for it i just don't want to be in their ecosystem
Yo, you guys caught me in mid-rant. What's up, <laughs> Rock?